COP26, the UN Conference of Parties dedicated to discussing solutions to the climate crisis is now in its second week. And as a charity dedicated to tackling climate change and energy poverty, we know that many of you, our followers, have been watching the news closely and attending events yourself. I'm really pleased to be joined by SolarAid's long-standing trustee, John Fawkes, live from COP26 in Glasgow. Hi, John. It's great to see you and speak with you today. Hello, Emily. Likewise. Thanks for making time for this. Um, it's an interesting time, isn't it, John, when at SolarAid we're currently finalising our plans to light up every home, school and clinic in Africa with solar power by 2030. And then at the same time, the world's leaders are gathered in Glasgow presenting their plans to cut emissions by that same deadline. But what are your hopes personally for what comes out of this conference? It's, well, it's such a huge process. It's hard to lock in on certain things, but, but at the sort of big picture level, what I really want is the urgency of action and i think that people are starting to really understand it certainly the people outside the conference they get the idea of a code red for humanity this is serious stuff um so urgent practical action i want political leadership i want the political leaders in various countries to step up and take the energy of those outside the conference and say yes we can do this and, and there's an element also, and this is really important for solar aid, uh, of climate justice. It's who has to bear the main responsibility for solving these problems. And it's got to be us. It's got to be the industrialised, high-consuming countries like the UK. Uh, and I, I tell you what, one thing I would say about the solar aid model is people absolutely love it. You know, they, they go, that's fantastic. How do you achieve so much? with with so little effectively we want to get involved with that so it's a so it's a very it captures people's imagination ending the darkness campaign is really uh, you know it really does capture people's imagination it's important what have you sensed from being there is there a general feeling of optimism or is it one of, of frustration um there's a huge frustration outside the hall no question um and there's also a huge frustration from uh, particularly the most vulnerable countries inside the hall as well but but what i'm also seeing is a, that there is optimism people haven't lost hope by any means there's a huge amount of money trying to mobilize to solve things and so in the old phrase, there are still reasons to be cheerful. It's hard to hold on to them, but hold on to them we must. So I think listen, there's such a range of people here working on such a range of issues. There are wins and losses and battles still to be fought. So it's um it's probably the best I can do because it is a it is quite a circus. What's your message to share with others who like you support the work of Solar Aid? Oh, listen, I well, first of all, don't be discouraged. Please keep doing what you're doing. Uh, what, what, the wonderful thing about our supporters at SolarAid is they get it. They, they have embraced the, the issues, the problems. They're probably doing loads of things in their own lives. And they're taking that extra step of thinking global and taking the very practical action of supporting SolarAid to support people in sub-Saharan Africa and trying to end, end the darkness. So please keep doing that. I think the other thing I'll say is get active, you know, hold your politicians to account. That's so important. Whatever we do as individuals, it's going to be great and it's important, but ultimately we need our politicians to step up. So hold your politicians to account. Have a word with your employer, your school, your university, see what you can do together uh, because actions speak louder than words and there are so many wonderful actions that, that we can take I, I think yeah i want to i want to try and be positive because it, it, there's a lot of doom and gloom out there in the news and and yes it, it's all worrying but, but don't be discouraged and please keep helping us to uh, to end the darkness with solar aid i think Thanks, John. What an excellent message to share there. And thank you for taking the time out of your busy COP26 schedule to talk to us today. As I say, we're really pleased to have you there as an amazing Solar Aid ambassador and Thanks. wish you all the best for everything thank you get involved in. I'm very proud to be flying the Solar Aid flag, I tell you, really. Excellent. Thank Thanks, you. Emily.